What is going on guys? Welcome back to SC Outdoors. Today I'm fishing this little stream, um, fishing for some wild trout. Uh, I'm in a state forest here in South Central Pennsylvania. Uh, this stream is a Class A trout water, um, ranked by the uh, state of PA. And it, uh, it flows into a stock stream not far from here. So I know that it was originally a brookie stream when I first fished this about, I don't know, 10 years ago. And now there is browns in here. Last time I was here about two years ago, I caught some browns and some brooks. So should be a little bit of a mix of both, um, but it's a really nice stream. I have not fished this section before, so it should be interesting. Pretty cool to explore, I guess. Uh, we'll see what we can make happen. I'm throwing a little trout magnet. It's really good for these little, tight little creeks. Um, let's see. There we go. Oh my God. Took flight. It's a brownie. Yes. First fish of the day. It's not a bad fish for this creek for sure. All right, so there's our first fish of the day. Really pretty brown. Get her back in here. Away she goes back into the depths. Really good pocket here. It's got to be another one. Ah, just missed one there. I've had some real issues with these little fish getting hooked getting a lot of two to three inch, you know, tiny little brookies and browns to chase and bite. But ever since that first fish, I haven't been able to find anything uh, big enough to eat. You know what I mean? It's just been kind of a little bit rough. It's a tough stream to fish. I mean, very overgrown, a lot of uh, log jams and whatnot. So it's, it's been tough, but I think if I keep plugging, I should be able to find some sort of fish. All right, guys, just an update. Um, I am giving up on this creek. I'm not sure why it's fishing so tough, but I mean, if I can't catch anything out of that stuff there, I have no real hope in this creek. I've been fishing for a while with no bites since that, uh, that first fish. So I think it has partly to do with, I'm kind of surrounded by cabins, um, state parks close by. Maybe it gets fished more than I thought it would, but I don't know, I'm gonna go, there's a stock stream that's right by here, so I'm gonna go fish that. I have caught fish in it before this time of year, so that's kind of the plan. Um, hopefully we can find some fish there. This was just way too difficult with like climbing over trees every two seconds and just not really catching anything. At least the other stream I can chuck a spinner around and probably find something, so that's the plan. I'll see you guys in the next stream. There's one sitting up in the shallows there. Very tentative. This spot on the creek gets hit, I'm sure, really hard. It's right at the parking area, state park. But he looked like he wanted to bite. Stream's a lot bigger, as you can tell. But I have not fished this section of stream in a long time. I don't know if that guy's gonna bite. This is a little brown. It's probably about seven or eight inches.
coming in hot. Got him. Little brookie. Yes. Really pretty fish. Definitely a native. That's pretty cool. I didn't know there was native brooks in this stream, so that's really cool. Our first fish of the day, pretty brook trout. Very pretty brook trout. Oh, he scared me there for a second. But off he goes. He just kind of floated there. I was, I was wondering what he was doing, but he's off now. All right, well, that's cool. That's a good start. I'm really glad that, glad that these fish are hitting, and I'm really glad that there's brookies in here. Figured it'd probably be all, probably be all browns, but that's cool to see. So let's go, maybe we can turn something into this. Another one, swirling it. Got it, ah, missed him. Oh, there's a bunch of fish sitting in here, man. There's like three or four. The bigger one came down. Shoot, he followed it the whole way up, then he saw me, I think. Ah, come on. Oh man, I missed him. I gotta get a different trout magnet on, I think. This guy's about done. Oh, here comes one. Oh, that's a big brown, dude. I think. It's a bigger fish. Bigger fish for sure. Almost bit it. Oh, where did he go? Tree roots here. I'm gonna try cast along them. There we go. Nice brown trout. There we go. Nice little fish. The oh, camera turned off on me there for a second, but got a nice little wild brown. Pretty fish, very pretty fish. Very nice. Not time we got another one. It's been a bit. Um, probably not gonna be here much longer. It's just a little bit, but um, that's awesome. That's gonna do it. I'm giving up here. Uh, I got. I'm out of time here. I gotta go. Unfortunately, not the uh, greatest day. Um, for numbers, only call it three. Missed a couple others. Uh, just fortunately, just did not see many fish in here. A lot of good looking stuff. Um, ended up hiking way into the woods, came back down here to the parking area, and that's where I caught that second fish. So, actually, only caught two fish down here by the uh, by the parking area. Um, now, I understand, like, it's a sock stream, there's probably not as many fish upstream of where they stock, but both fish I caught were wild, so. I'm not sure why I couldn't find any upstream farther where nobody's fishing. I mean, everybody's fishing down through here. I managed a couple, um, but there are definitely more fish here for sure. Um, I don't know, tough to explain. 
Um, I did see a couple little wild ones upstream, but not much. Had missed one good holdover. Uh, brownies, probably about 15 or 16. Uh, but anyways, it was fun exploring. I mean, it's a really cool area at least. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. And I'm going to see you next time on SC Outdoors.